And now that I'm going to the Super Bowl, it's going to see even more of a smile on my face. So it's just priceless, man, and I never take it for granted. For the second straight year, an Eastern Washington Eagle will play in the Super Bowl. Last year was Samson Ibukam with the Rams. This year it's Kendrick Bourne with the 49ers. We caught up with Bourne as he prepares to play in the biggest game of his career. I know I'm going to be dancing the whole game. I don't care. <laughs> It's the most cameras out there. You got to act up. Kendrick Bourne has always been a character that won't change with the brightest lights in the world on him. You got to enjoy it. I'm going to soak it all in, enjoy it all, man, and put it all on the line. You know what I'm saying? One last game for 20, 2019 or 2020, whatever you want to say. But I'm just going to soak it all in. I know everybody else will too, man. We're, we're going to enjoy every moment of it. It's also evident that he enjoyed his time at Eastern as he becomes the fourth player in program history to suit up in the Super Bowl. It says a lot about the program, uh, what they coach, how they teach their guys, how they develop them from freshman year to senior year. I know I developed a lot. Me, Coop, and Samson and top guys, they, we were coached really well right when we got there. So as the years went by, once we got to our senior year, it was we were really developed, so our transition to the league was pretty easy. Bourne said that one thing in particular really helped him prepare for the NFL. I really ran routes a lot at Eastern. I ran a lot of the similar routes that I ran here. So, like I said, my body was just really used to what it was doing when I got here. So it wasn't like I was trying to force my body to do something I wasn't comfortable doing. I was just doing what I was always doing every day at Eastern. Now, to be fair, Bourne didn't run a lot of routes that provided big numbers for him personally in the NFC Championship as the 49ers run game took center stage. In total, the wide receiver group had six catches against Green Bay and Bourne only accounted for one catch for six yards. That doesn't bother him, though, which he also credits to his time in Cheney. Yeah, I think just my mindset ever since college, uh, I've always had a winning mindset. Whatever I got to do to help the team win, whether it be sitting on the bench or being in the game, I don't really care. I just want to help wherever I can, and I've always been like that since college. So when, especially when I got to the league, when I was in college, I was a role player. So when I got to the league, I knew I wasn't going to be the number one guy starting off. So just being able to play my role and, and, and excel in my role. That's the mindset he'll take into the Super Bowl, because only one thing, or maybe perhaps one object, matters to Bourne. Whether I get one catch, no catch, or any of us get one catch, no catch, it don't really matter. The scoreboard fixes everything, so that's how I think. Kendrick Bourne and the 49ers take on Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes next Sunday, not this Sunday, next Sunday <laughs> in the Super Bowl on Fox at 3.30. Hmm. And don't think that Kendrick hasn't contributed this sure. year, by the yeah. way. Uh, he caught the 49ers' first touchdown against Minnesota in the NFC Divisionals, and he's averaged 12 yards per catch, uh, 358 yards receiving overall. And does he not have like the best attitude just out of an NFL that. player you've heard totally. from? Lately? He just makes you smile. Uh, yes. There is, he said that he would do the worm if he scored <laughs> in the NFC Championship. So, Kendrick, do the worm. We're waiting for it. There we go. Yeah. Please. Awesome. Congrats to him. Yeah. yeah. Good cool. stuff, Brenda. Thank you.